What's up, people? Joe Wanko here, your favorite Hawaiian guy. And here's my next episode of Joe Wanko Talk. So, this is gonna be, um... It's gonna be a happy episode of Joe Wanko Talk, really. It is gonna have some personal stuff to it, but it's gonna mostly just be a very happy episode of Joe Wanko Talk. The happiest I've done in a really long time, honestly. But... The whole point of my YouTube channel is for you guys to get to know me, and yeah, so that's that. This is going to be a video of my opinion of living down south versus living in the Midwest. So, as you all know, or as you all should know by now, I always hated Wisconsin and always wanted to leave forever because of so many reasons. Um, the cold, too many bad memories, but yeah, the cold, and too many bad memories, and plus I was just ready to get out of that place and ditch it for good and to move on and to never go back again. Well, it turns out I actually finally did leave Wisconsin forever, because earlier, I think it was either earlier today or yesterday, I uploaded the video of me crossing over the Ohio River. Yeah, that was me leaving Wisconsin forever. Well, <laughs> I was already out of Wisconsin by then, but that was me leave after, right after I left Wisconsin forever. Well, a couple hours after I left Wisconsin forever because the Ohio River is quite a ways from Wisconsin. And yeah, that was during my journey of leaving Wisconsin forever, and I don't plan on crossing that river ever again, unless I'm, unless I find a nice friend to take me on road trips, and then I cross the river and go visit Buckskin Girl's grave like I always wanted to, but that's a completely different story, so moving on. First, I want to say with the most respect as a Midwesterner myself, the South, literally kicks the Midwest ass in every way possible. The Midwest is cold and dreary and miserable and the people were rude and everything. But the South is, it's like day and night, really. I love the South. It's beautiful down here. It's nice. It's warm and sunny. It was 80 degrees here in October. Like, it, it never is 80 degrees in October in Wisconsin. I, I have never seen that in my whole entire life. Some of you guys may type in, oh yeah, it's been 80 degrees here in October. Uh, when the hell was it 80 degrees here in Wisconsin in October? Because I have never seen that in my life. But, yeah, it's 80 degrees here. The, where I live, it's always very warm because we're right in the path. Where I live, it's right in the path from the warm air currents from the equator, from the Gulf of Mexico, and from the southern Atlantic Ocean near the equator, the warm air currents that flow north and are very warm and everything. We're right in the direct path of that. So that's another thing, and most of the south is right in the direct path of the warm air currents from the ocean, and plus I'm really close to the ocean also. It's always warm, it's always sunny, and you know, back when I was living in Wisconsin, I never would ride my bike that much at all, because I, it was always cold, and you don't like riding your bike during the cold. But down here, I always ride my bike. I ride my bike so much. I've been going out, riding my bike day after day, like for hours literally, and going so far away, I always have to remind myself not to stray too far away. Um, or else I'd have, because I'd have to ride back, too. But I, I never get lost at all, because I always have my GPS on my phone and everything. And I always go out and ride my bike. You know, another thing is, yesterday I rode my bike a really long distance, because I had to exchange my driver's license, even though I don't have a car down here at all, but I still needed a new driver's license, because I moved and everything. And I had to ride, I, tr I rode my bike there. And I traced the route where I rode my bike on Google Earth. I rode my bike for 30 kilometers. 30 kilometers. I've never... That translates to like rough... That translates to roughly 17 or 18 miles, roughly. I never knew that I was physically... That my body was physically capable of riding that far of a distance. Because... 
even in, in Wisconsin, I would never be able to ride my bike that far. But the thing is, we're closer to the equator. We're closer to the sun. The sun is closer to us, too, because the sun shines right on the equator. And the sunlight gives me energy. It's the power of photosynthesis. I feel like a houseplant. But it's the power of so photosynthesis. And also, another thing is, the scenery here is much more beautiful, too. There's more hills. Everything's beautiful. There's palm trees. There's mountains. Well, uh, there's you can't really see the mountains from where I'm at. You have to go like a, you have to like travel like an hour or two to see some mountains. But um, there are hills and there's grass and well, duh, there's grass and there's palm trees also. I love the palm trees. I love those palm trees so much. Those are symbols of heaven and it is absolutely beautiful here. I love it here more than anything else, and I'm so happy to be down here. And another thing is, I like the building I'm living in, too, and the space I'm living in. It's so much nicer. As I said, um, my adoptive parents sent me down south to live with their relatives, so right now I'm living in a mansion down south, and it's right up on a hill, this really big hill, and we're living in this big, huge mansion on the hill, but it's not a gothic-style mansion like my Uncle Romario's house, but it is a mansion nonetheless. It's all bright and colorful and everything, and you can't really see the- you can't see the ocean from it. Like, even though we're really close to the ocean, you can't see the ocean from this big hill on the mansion. That's only because there's, like, so much other stuff in the way. Maybe if, like, there weren't so many other buildings you could see it, or so many other mansions, because it's not, like, a lone mansion on the hill. There's mansions, like, all around it. And the, and the thing is, um, there's no kids here at all in this place. Like, it's, mo it's all old people who are living here. Well, duh, because only old people can afford to live here. And I'm literally the youngest person living in this whole subdivision. Really, because my relatives that I'm living with, they're all in their 40s and 50s. There's five of them who live in this house with me, but they're always, like, out on the go and everything, and I'm the only one here, and that works out perfectly because I'm more of a recluse anyway. I like keeping to myself, and I love my alone time and everything. So it works out perfectly, and also... Another thing is, uh, I always have to throw my garbage away really fast, and I don't mind that at all, but I always have to go out and throw it in the trash because of bugs, and I'm always afraid of bugs. There's no bugs here at all, because what they do is they spray around the subdivision to keep the bugs out, but still, I throw it away anyway, just in case. And that was another thing I was worried about before living down south. Like, I'm not afraid of bugs, but what freaks me out are giant spiders, because I know that down south in the USA they have giant spiders, like huntsmen's, wolf spiders. I haven't seen any since I've been here, and I pray to God that I never see any. What I've been seeing most of, more than anything, more than anything, and really this is the only thing I've been seeing, were, um, lizards and little geckos. I always loved lizards. I used to see those all the time in the Dominican Republic. I remember I'd always want to go outside and catch a lizard. But the thing is, these lizards are really small and they run really fast. Like, I remember I was on my computer earlier and I saw something dart by and I was so scared because I thought it was a giant spider. But it was just a lizard running around. And they're so cute. They look like the little lizards from the Geico commercial. And... They don't talk in British accents at all. Well, they actually don't talk at all. I wish they did. That'd be cool. But I'd see these little litter lizards darting all around, and they were so adorable. But, like, they run so fast, and I can't catch them and pet them at all because they run away so fast. But they don't cause any trouble, and they eat bugs and everything. But I still didn't want them in the house because I was worried about stepping on them or accidentally hurting one of them. And if that happened, I would just be absolutely sick. If I accidentally stepped on a lizard, I would... Oh, that'd be terrible. But the thing is, you don't... Like, I never accidentally step on them, because they're able to run away really fast. Like, even when I'm riding my bike, the lizards always will run out of the way really fast. They're not like squirrels, where you can accidentally run them over. But the lizards always run away really fast. And it's beautiful here. And I love the palm trees and the flowers and everything. And you see some pretty interesting birds too, like these really big birds with the beaks and everything. You see them flopping around and they're so cute. I didn't see any flamingos. 
Um, when I lived with my uncle in the Dominican Republic, there the flamingos would always come to the beach, but they're not really here at all. But, eh, oh well. One day, they probably might find their way over here, I guess. But it's absolutely beautiful here. And another thing is... Now, here's where it gets kind of personal. My... When I first got here, and when I saw all the palm trees, and when I saw the mansion I was going to be living in, and I felt the sunlight and everything, and when I ran inside, like, all that stuff makes me think of my uncle or Mario, because we, me and him used to live together in the Dominican Republic, and... Yeah, this place is uh, quite a bit like the Dominican Republic, except there's a lot of people living here, but there are much less people And when I lived in the Dominican Republic, because me and my uncle or Mario lived out in the middle of nowhere. When I walked through the doors of the mansion, I don't know why, but I got really hyped and I was thinking my uncle or Mario would be here waiting for me and would give me a hug and everything. But it's probably my autism mind that caused me to think like that. But when I got in, I was like, oh, wait a second, my uncle or Mario passed away uh, years ago. He's not coming back. And, you know, I did feel a little sad about that, but I didn't dwell on it at all. I didn't, like, think about it. I was like, I'm finally down south. I left Wisconsin forever, and now I'm here, and I'm happy. That's how I felt. And the thing is, however, I feel so much closer to him now because the warm air, the sunlight, when I feel that sun beating down on my skin, I feel like he's here with me. I always felt his presence everywhere I went, even in Wisconsin, but down south, I feel like I'm even closer to him because his ashes were scattered over the Atlantic Ocean. And I'm actually really close to the Atlantic Ocean, much closer than I was. But I w I'm actually a lot, lot closer to the Atlantic Ocean. And I feel that he's here with me and I feel closer to him than ever. And overall, I'm really happy to be down here. And as I said, my uh, adoptive parents' relatives, they... They're actually really cool. They they don't give off that negative energy that my adoptive parents used to. They don't. Like, I don't didn't even see them that often, but I only seen them, like, a handful of times. Not that often, and not going to be seeing them that often because they're all busy and running off doing their own stuff. And that's really nice. I'm really glad. And I get more time to myself, really, because I love my alone time anyway, as I'm a recluse. I keep it to myself. Uh, but I have more time to go out, explore, ride my bike, so many more places to explore and everything. And I, it's not like I'm going to start throwing parties in the mansion at all. I definitely won't do that because I'm more of a recluse. I don't like being around people that much. But I don't mind living with other people because I, um, I used to live with my adoptive parents and my adoptive brothers and sisters. I have three adoptive brothers and three adoptive sisters. They're all biological to my adoptive parents, in, in case you guys didn't know. And this isn't the first time my adoptive parents sent me away to live somewhere else. Because in 2006, when I was 10 years old, my adoptive parents sent me to Canada to live with their parents, which would have been my grandparents if I, was a, if I wasn't adopted. And I only stayed there for four or five months because January through May, that's how long I stayed there. Um, the reason why I left is because my only friend there and my best friend there was murdered and I was really shooken up by that and I wasn't really doing well. So they sent me back to live with my adoptive parents. And then 10 years ago, it's, it's been 10 years, they sent me away to live in the Dominican Republic with my Uncle Romario, and that's where I met my Uncle Romario in the Dominican Republic. And the only reason why I had to come back to Wisconsin is because he passed away of brain cancer. Well, he didn't pass away then. He went into a coma of brain cancer in January of 2010. That's when I had to come back to Wisconsin. And that... and. Technically, I probably wouldn't have had to come back to Wisconsin, but I think the only reason why they sent me back is because I told them that I, well, I didn't want to stay in the Dominican Republic all by myself. I could have, but um, I didn't want to. So that's the only reason why I had to come back to Wisconsin. But then 
the next time my adoptive parents sent me away was in October of 2016. Like, so, some stuff happened between me and my adoptive parents that I don't really want to get into detail on. And they didn't want me coming back to live with them ever again. I didn't want to go back to live with them ever again. So they put me out in an apartment five kilometers away from where they live, three miles away from their, from where they live. And that's where I lived for a whole entire year. And I stayed there for a year because they were locked in the apartment lease for a whole entire year. And they're never going to, they already told me they're never going to do that again. So then now they sent me down south to live with my adoptive parent relatives. And the thing is, I'm never going to be coming back to Wisconsin again because there's no place in Wisconsin for me to go to anymore. There's absolutely no place. My adoptive parents' relatives, they said that they're not going to help me go back to Wisconsin at all. That's what they said. My um, adoptive parents said they're not going to help me go, get, ever get back to Wisconsin at all. And, you know, I'm absolutely glad about that because I never want to go back to Wisconsin again because I always hated Wisconsin and wanted to leave forever. I felt like it was kind of weird that they kept reminding me of that. But I'm actually glad about that. And it's apparently right now... The South is now my new home, and apparently always now. The South is now my new home, and I will be down South until the day I die. Really. So, yeah, that's that. And, you know, in all honesty, I would not have it any other way besides the way I have it right now. Because I like, I love living down South. Plus, the people are really nice. The people are much nicer. Uh, I don't hear, I never heard anyone talk in a southern accent since I've been here, honestly. Um, the accent I hear the most down here is the Yankee accent of the Northeast. Like, have you guys ever played Grand Theft Auto 3? <laughs> That's the accent I hear. Like, I park my car in the Harvard Yard. Like, the Yankee accent. <laughs> but I don't mind at all. They're all, like, they're obviously not native southerners because they're all from New York and everything but you know I don't mind at all because they're really nice people the warm air really makes people much more friendly because the cold turns people into miserable bitches it turns me into a miserable bitch but the warm air it brings out the good in people people are more chilled out and well <laughs> people are more <laughs> chilled out people are more warmed out and more relaxed and more chilled and everything because of that really and I really love it. So, yeah. And I'll be staying down south until my number is up. Because there's no other place for me to go except for here. And, yeah, I'm a lot happier now. People always say that moving away doesn't solve all your problems. It really doesn't solve all your problems, but... Like, it doesn't solve anyone's problems. It's not the perfect thing. And I always knew about that. But it definitely solved a large majority of mine. And I'm finally down south where I always wanted to be. And where I always wanted to go in the first place. I didn't get here the way I was planning on to or the way I wanted to. What I thought was going to happen was I thought I was going to make friends with someone online. Someone was going to see my videos and say, hey, that's a really nice guy. And then... We would get together and live together and then we would move down south and we would live down south together but that as you all know that did not work out and that's not the way it did work out but it did work out but not no not in that way at all my adoptive parents sent me down here and well dropped me off and left me down here and yeah and i don't think i'm ever gonna see my adoptive parents again but i don't mind that <laughs> that's the same thing i thought in the dominican republic uh, but this time it's quite literal because I'm not a little kid anymore and they're not going to take me back home with them anymore. And I don't want to go back home with them either. So, yeah. Hallelujah! <laughs> so, yeah. Um, that's that. And that's it for this episode of joe wanko talk so do you live down south or do you live up north and have you ever moved from the south to up north or from the north to the south and what do you think of it which one did you like better and why
tell me that. Because if you say you like the North better, I'm going to go like, what? You're crazy. Why are you saying that? But yeah, um, yeah, it's that. And I'm going to be doing less videos for YouTube since I'm down here now because I'm not trapped in a lonely, cold apartment anymore where I wallow away all my life. No, I'm not. I'm in a warm place down south now that I really, really love. And I, um, so yeah, I'm going to enjoy that more instead of like staying at home on my computer all the time. So yeah, that's basically it for this episode of Joe Winko Talk. So don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. So that's it. Peace out, people.